roller coaster ride, guys. It's like a roller coaster ride. Okay, it's not good. Yeah, um, we like to keep it real here, you guys. Like, this is what I look like every single day. I don't really wear makeup. Um, I look like a hot mess. I have all these freaking flyaways because my hair is probably falling out. Um, but that's, that's the real deal. So, take it or leave it. Love it or hate it, right? Um, salt shaker because your girl is addicted to the salt. Um, I mean, I guess the good thing is it's sea salt, um, like the, the table salt stuff, like the one that they put like that little girl with the freaking umbrella. What is that? Morton's? Um, like that stuff is super, super salty. Um, I don't know, it's super, it's way saltier than sea salt, so I moved to sea salt because, like, I was just eating a lot of salt, um, and sea salt, I guess, is not as much salty, I don't know, you guys don't care, whatever. So I'm having the same stuff, which is, like, romaine and chicken, you guys saw it, um, I know, shocker, right? Um... And yeah, so I am really hungry all day long. I basically like count down the time until I can eat. How pathetic is that, right? Like, normal people do not do that. Um, the back with the chopsticks, ladies and gents. Um, but I'm psychotic, so all day long I think about food. But we like to keep it real, so that is what it is. And like I said, like I eat the same thing like every day. It's not like there's any life-changing shit happening, you know? So, the funny thing is, so, I don't, I take bites of each piece of chicken. This is so wasteful, I know. Um, but I, I mean, I do compost it. Because I have this mental thing about not eating the whole thing. Welcome to my world. Um... The other day, I was, like, watching mukbang videos, and I was, like, thinking about, like, years ago when I started watching YouTube, which is, like, I don't even know, like, probably, like, more than five years ago, I literally, like, was, like, never watching these eating shows, like, and I know they just became popular, but... I was trying to remember, like, what did I start watching? Because, like, it's almost, like, every year, like, I have something different that I'm watching. Like, I'm, like, when I first started, I think I was watching, like, beauty videos or something. I don't know. Like, everybody starts off that way, right? And then I remember I was, like, who do I subscribe to? Oh, like, Emily Noel. I subscribed to her because she like seemed to know a lot about makeup. Oh, and then she was always like shopping drugstore, which I ain't got no money, people. I mean, let's be real. The money isn't obviously going to my like looks department. It's all going to food. Ain't nobody got no time to be all, spend all this, like, money on, like, luxury makeup, which is literally, like, it's super expensive. So, I subscribed to her, and I think, like, 11th Gorgeous. You know, the, sis the sisters, the blonde sisters. Basically, anybody who's, like, legit... 
doing like drugstore makeup. I'd watch those girls. And like, I wasn't, I didn't really like, um, like tutorials. I just felt like those were so boring. But I liked when they like did hauls. I love hauls. Not like clothing hauls though. But like makeup hauls and like food hauls or whatever. And not the expensive shit. So yeah. And they also What did I subscribe to? Like Marissa Lace. I still subscribe to her, but she's like different now. Um. Oh, what that Judy lady with Benji, her husband. What's her name? It's Judy time. That was later. I didn't, like, love her at first. But then I got really into, like, her vlogs. Because, like, she did, like, daily vlogs with her husband, which I don't even know how you do that. I'm tired of vlogs. It was just fucking annoying. Holding a camera every day? Oh, my God. I just don't know how they, like, document everything about their life, you know? Whatever. But yeah, I used to watch them, their vlogs, not her video, like her makeup stuff. But like, that's kind of how I started. Oh my god, you guys, like. I bought so much makeup from the drugstore because of that. I never really used any of it. Because I'm just not that type of person. Like. I mean. It was kind of fun for a while. And then you're spending all this money that... Like, who needs to buy that much fucking eyeshadow? Right? Like, every week I was, like, going out and getting another palette or whatever. Which is, like, good that I stuck to drugstore stuff. Because I'm even, like, broke. Otherwise... So yeah, I was like doing that at first, you know? And then, like I just did for a while. I mean, and then obviously like, um, what else did I watch? God, I can't remember, but it started off with definitely like makeup. Right? And then, over time, I'm stopped being interested in it. And I was trying to think about, like, why. You know? But then I realized, it wasn't that I wasn't interested in makeup. Like, I was lost interest in, like, the people that were doing the videos. Because, like, they started to, like, make super produced videos. You're not going to get that in here. I tried to, like, edit the other day. Uh-uh. I could not figure that out. I'm, like, retarded. So, what you're going to get is what you're going to get. <laughs> the moment this phone runs out of, like, space, the video goes down. I go down. I ain't editing whatever. It is what it is. You get full, full exposure. Because I, I don't know how to do it. But yeah. I lost interest in them because they got like way too produced. And then they all started moving towards like higher end brands. I could not afford that. 
No. But there were, like, some people that I watched that were, like, not drugstore people. Like, Gregory Gorgeous. Is that his name? Now it's, like, Gigi or something like that. Like, he was funny. I liked him because he was, like, funny. I And, like, the only person I still watch really, like, religiously now is HRH Collection. That bitch is, like, hilarious. And she's not, like, drugstore. She's, like, super high-end. I think her name's Alex. She's cool. Because she, like, keeps it real. She says whatever it is that is on her mind, regardless of if it's right or wrong or what. I'm into it. Yeah. Some people, like, find it super offensive. I just don't have time for that. These days, something offends everyone, you know? Just get over it. So. Yeah, like, they stopped keeping it real. And started getting super produced. Doing, like, intros and outros and, like, these music video intro things. And I'm like, oh, this is, I don't know. Not for me. It was too, like, manufactured. I just, peop- I like people who are, like, you know, like, normal people. I like to see, like, the real thing, right? Like, I don't know. I don't, like, people who kind of, like, play up a personality for t- for the video. I don't know. Just, like, I feel, like, you can kind of tell, right? Like, you guys can tell if somebody's kind of, like, fakies. I mean... I, obviously, like, I tend to, like, gravitate towards, like, people who are, like, kind of dark, you know? Yeah, like, I'm not perfect. I'm not gonna sunshine and fucking unicorns all day long, you know what I mean? I'm not super positive all the time. My life isn't super positive all the time. Like, I'm just me. And I found, like, these people were trying to be, like, super positive all the time. Like, sunshiny and stuff I mean it's good for them but I just wasn't I wasn't into it so try to find like people that have like a less of a subscriber base because they weren't as like bougie with their videos I never got into like I Justine or any of those like people um so yeah so then that was like that makeup phase and then then what happened then I started moving into like fitness I don't know. Started moving into fitness. I was watching like just like a couple of years ago, I think. Cause you know, people like me, you're like obsessed with like food or working out. Which, by the way. I'm, like, the laziest person ever. I hate the gym. I hate working out. I used to go just because of, like, if you didn't go, you felt guilty. Girl, I haven't gone in, like, two years. I don't feel guilty. Because, like, once you get out of the habit, you just don't feel bad anymore. And I get literally cannot find myself to like even get back into the gym. But I really need to start doing that. Cause like when I stop going, I like lost more weight, but it was muscle. I could tell, like I was starting to get fat. Like I know I'm not fat, 
for all the crazy that I am, I am, like, relatively functional and pretty self-aware. Um. But, like, my body composition was definitely changing. Now I'm basically a bag of fat. (laughs) I went up the stairs the other day and I was like, holy shit. I was like, ten steps. Fuck. I like almost blew my heart out. (laughs) I used to run half marathons every freaking like weekend, you guys. And now I can't even go up like 10 steps. 10 baby steps. Yeah. So. I started watching fitness videos. I had no idea what, like, macros were and stuff like that. All this stuff that they were... If it fits your macros, all of this stuff that they were talking about. But I got, like, kind of into it because... Obviously, because they talk about their bodies all the time. And they talk a lot about food. That's the other thing in fitness. It's, like, an excuse to talk about food. Because everybody was on a diet or some fucking, like, macro or some intermittent fasting or, blah, like, keto, low-carb, Atkins. Like, somebody was always on something. Because they were, like, prepping for shows, you know? They were, like, professional fitness people. But I liked, like, Nikki... Nikki Blackletter. She's with that Christian guy, which I never... He wasn't my thing. Like, he's he's cool. He's really knowledgeable. Super motivated dude, but... He was always, like, super put together. I couldn't relate to that. Like, he's a good-looking guy. He's one of those, you know, like, metro type of dudes. I couldn't get into that. But she was like a girl, like a a guy's girl, you know what I mean? I always thought that it was like super weird that they ended up together because they seemed really different. But she was cute. She wasn't like like him, you know what I mean? Whatever. But yeah. I watched the videos for her because she was like kind of... Half the time she's a hot mess. Her makeup was kind of... Not always like super put together. Her hair was sometimes like fucked up. But like that girl rolled with it. You know what I mean? She was a homie. So I liked her. Um, who else did I watch? I literally, I think I only really watched her. Or whatever, that channel that they shared or whatever the fuck. And then I just got into, like, watching a lot of the fitness ones, but I'm not into their, like, when they film themselves working out, like, those workout routines and stuff. I'm not, I wasn't into that. I was into, like, what I eat in a day. Like, workout clothes hauls. But, like, that was an interesting time because... I started thinking differently about... What I want to look like, you know? And I kind of like their abs and their muscles. You know what I mean? Generally, I wasn't, like, super into those looks. Because I wanted to be, like, wayfish. 
like an Olsen twin, you know? Or like Nicole Richie. Dude, full disclosure, I'm not lying. I like that look. Um, but then when I started watching those fitness videos, I kind of started to like think a little differently. But now, I'm not watching as many of those videos. Just like the people I was following, but like I was following Nikki Backwater started getting into Amanda Bucci, Jasmine Garcia. I love her. I still love her. She's cool. She's like a Nikki. And she used to live, like, near me. Like, in Northern California. I thought she was cool. She was, like, a boy's girl. You know what I mean? Like, a guy's girl. I think she also did makeup stuff. Um. What else? Yeah. And, like, even Marissa Lace, that beauty person that I was talking about. Like, she used to do, like, fitness videos, too. And then she, she, I mean, that, she literally might be the person that got me into, like, fitness. Because she would, she was, like, there was a time when she was seriously super addicted to the gym. Going all the time. She was doing, like, macro tracking or whatever. Wait. That literally might be how I got into um, watching fitness stuff. Because I didn't know what macros were. I had to, like, look it up. I had to Google it, you know? So, yeah, I was watching those girls, but lately I stopped watching them. Or they're not as, like, interesting to me. Because now, like, everybody's, like, freaking a sponsored athlete. And, like, their videos, like, they have, like, producers or editors or whatever the fuck. I don't know. You know, and those, now they have, like, music video or drone openings or something like that. Like, I don't know. Like, I think, pe like, most people, like, like that stuff. Like, the camera quality is better. It's better videos or whatever. But I... It's not for me. Like, I don't... I'm glad they're, like, making progress in their lives and, you know, having the money to do those things. Like, good for them, but... It's just, like... It makes me sad, because, like... It's just, like, I stopped relating to them, you know? And then, like, everybody started to get into, like... The wellness thing, where they're all doing their, like, life coaching... Or, like, these weird soul-searching videos, and... Listen... I have lived a lot of life. Um, so. Sometimes, like, I'm watching these videos just to, like, not talk about those things, you know? Like, generally, I'm not looking for help. I just want to, like, not think about my life, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's, like... I know that's pretty sad, but keep it real, you know. Um, so yeah, now I'm like bored of all of them. The only people I still follow, I follow Nikki, but, like, only certain videos, because she's also a gamer, 
I'm not a gamer, so I kind of don't relate to those videos, but I still think she's cool. Like, she's a cool chick. Not, like, super girly girl, you know? Not like that girl that, that Christian guy is now dating. They broke up, by the way, if you didn't know. You can go watch their old videos or whatever. But that Christian guy and that Nikki girl, they broke up. He's now dating some other chick, this Heidi chick. Who's, like, way more put together. Like, you know, flawless makeup. I've never seen her, like, looking wrecked. So someone more his style, you know? But yeah, like somebody like Heidi. I don't really relate to. So I don't watch like her. But and then Jasmine. And they're friends. Um, Jasmine and Nikki. I like Jasmine. Because she's cool. She also does, like, these life videos, which I don't think Nikki does as much. But, you know, which I'm not as, like, like, super, super into, but I still think she's cool. I still watch her stuff. Marissa, I stopped watching because, well, I mean, I'm still subscribed, but she got a little bit too, too vegan, too life coach for me. I liked her when she was more like struggling with shit, you know what I mean? Like. Plus, hippie. Um, but yeah, and then recently I started watching mukbang, those eating shows, and. I'm not into, like, I'm not super into mukbangs, because, like, I think those people, like, little legit mukbangs are, like, you eat a shit ton of food. I'm not watching it because of the food. I'm watching it because, like, people talk when they're eating. I feel like I'm having a conversation with someone, you know, because I'm socially retarded. It's basically a social life. <laughs> All my friends, I have to subscribe to you guys. <laughs> this is a new Facebook. I literally have no friends. So, maybe that's why I'm like so obsessed with mukbang videos. Because, like, we're eating show videos. Because, I don't have a social life. I don't like, here's the thing. People don't understand. I'm okay with it. I'm like, lone wolf pack, you know? Table of one. I don't like being with people. I literally, like, don't like, I don't like going to, like, dinner because I've got food stuff going on, like, food stuff. So I don't like eating in front of people. So, like, I do these because it's literally, like, otherwise I have, like, literally no social life. I'm talking to myself, basically. And, yeah, I don't, like, I don't feel bad about that. Like, I don't, like, cry at night because I don't have any friends. I, like, prefer it that way. I didn't used to be like that. Like when I was younger, before my eating stuff, 
I was literally like a social butterfly. But after I started having like serious eating stuff, I stopped doing that and like I kind of prefer it that way now. Yeah, so don't like cry for me, Argentina, because I have no friends. I'm good. But yeah, I like the eating shows where people are talking. And you know who's sloppy as fuck? Trisha Paytas. That bitch is so messed up, but I, I love her. She just lets it all hang out. Yes, girl, let it all hang out. She's for real. And her shit isn't, like, super produced. Like, I know she has, 